Hey guys, Barbara here. I hope you're having a wonderful Cyber Monday. Today I want to do something with the leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. Let's make no butter turkey pot pie. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Say hello to my mother. Hi, everybody. She's not shy, okay? <laughs> I'm getting Mario Ramirez from Box 11. <laughs> you are on The Bear Pantry Show <laughs> in Utah. Every Sunday, potato salad, stewed chicken, rice and beans, and plantains. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Yeah. All sales. I love it! All sales! <laughs> You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Attack! <laughs> You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. With my sister. <laughs> I'm recording this video on the Sunday after Thanksgiving, okay? Take a look at the turkey that we have left over from a 22 pound bird. It was just us five that live here and my dad that ate off of this on Thanksgiving Day a couple of times. Then we ate off of it Friday and Saturday and today is Sunday and we don't want this no more. So we're going to do turkey pot pie. So look at my ingredients. We're going to need a cup of milk and this is 2% milk. This is a cup of turkey broth. We're going to need peas and carrots and I stole one can of Jory's peas. Uh, you have to throw the water off, okay? I'm just going to make sure that I tell you guys every little thing because now that we are learning how to sew, I realize how people don't really teach you anything <laughs> on YouTube. I was like, wait, what did you do there? I might need this. And I had this left over from not putting it in the potato salad on Thursday. Diced up onions. I'm dicing up the turkey white meat here. If you have celery, go ahead and dice up some of that to put it in it. Um, I got this recipe, by the way. Let me tell you guys. I was going to show you my, this is my pie crust for the bottom. I got this recipe from another YouTuber, this lady Jenny Jones. She used to have a successful talk show on TV back, I think in the late 1980s. And then I went to go look for a no butter uh, turkey pot pie recipe and I found her. She's got like pretty close to 300,000 subbies and she's doing a great job. So I stole this off of her. This pie shell has no butter in it. I tried that piece this morning because her um, turkey pot pie doesn't have a bottom. Like this doesn't have any shell on the bottom. But I want mine to have a bottom because I don't like turkey pot pies that don't have a bottom. So I tried it. At first, the dough didn't come out great based on exactly what she told me to do. So I'm going to show you what I did different to make it come out great. Okay, so what we're going to do first is the inside. So let me dice up some more of the meat. I'm going to put some dark, some white. And then we're going to move over to the stove where we're going to get the middle of the pie going. Okay, so I'm just going to keep dicing. And then I'll meet you guys over at the stove. Just put a little bit of olive oil, like a couple of tablespoons. We got a big pan here because we have all that liquid that we're gonna have to reduce, okay? Now, if you were doing like chicken pot pie, like the recipe that the lady was doing, and the chicken uh, was raw, then you would put the chicken in now. But my turkey's already cooked, so we don't have to do all of that, all right? I just want to make sure that the onions and the carrots cook until they're tender. Don't add the peas yet, because the peas are like super soft. And we don't want those to squish away, right? So just let me saute this until the onions are brown and then I'm going to add my liquid here. Let's add our liquid. Trying to use everything. Let's add uh, this one tin of peas. Then I'm gonna see if I need that other tin of peanut peas and carrots. All right. It's already looking like turkey pot pie, right? And I have one correction to make. The lady was making chicken pot pie, but I'm doing turkey pot pie. Yeah, this is already looking up, guys. I'm going to taste it to see if we have enough salt from the turkey broth, all right? And that turkey broth I made myself. Mm. 
this didn't even take like three minutes guys and of course these carrots are still not as you know tender as if you just open it from the can but remember this is gonna bake so this is thick enough so we're gonna move over to the counter and I'm gonna show you how to make that pie shell okay all right guys I'm just preheating the oven to 350 let's do this it's one and two-thirds cup of all-purpose flour. If you don't have a two-thirds measurement like I do, do one-third two times, all right? A quarter teaspoon of salt, a third cup, well, let me whisk this first or mix it up first. A third cup of vegetable oil, see, no butter, all right? Vegetable oil, and a third cup of milk. And then you use the fork to mix. But that liquid is not going to be enough, but I want to get you to the point where you see that, all right? See? How can I form this into a dough? Look at that. It's already not enough, right? So all you do is get a little bit more milk. I have about two tablespoons here. Add about a tablespoon. Keep mixing with the fork. We want this to become just moist, but not overly sticky. So watch it. If you don't trust your fork anymore, get it out of there your clean hand and I can feel that all this is moist but this is still a little bit too dry so let's put a little bit more of our milk See, just to the point where it's kind of crumbly I'm taking time to show you this because I really messed up earlier take a look at how the one that I did looked I mean I knew there was no way that was gonna come together but I want to show you guys sometimes the mistakes so, and I'm not saying that she gave wrong recipe. I'm just saying that sometimes, you know, flour expands and contracts and stuff like that. I, I still think we need a little bit more milk, so let me get a little bit more. And I know a lot of people can't make pie dough, right? So I figured this is a simple one to show you guys. Okay, this is ready to be dumped out. You don't want to knead like when you're doing bread, okay? You just want to get all the pieces in the ball. You're gonna need two pieces of wax paper. It's the easiest way to do this. How do I know? Because I tried that already. Yes, our pie is gonna have a bottom. I can't stand pot pies where you just have a top and all that stuff on the bottom. So make this into like a disc. It could have even been a little bit more wet, guys. But let's see if this will work. If it doesn't work, throw it out and start over again. It's not a whole lot of ingredients. Put some flour down on the wax paper. Put your disc. I hope this rolls out because this is looking like it'll break apart on me. Notice I'm more now. I can't add more liquid now. Jory was asking. You can't add liquid after the fact. We'll try it. If it starts breaking apart, we'll start over. The other one that I did was a little bit more moist. So you're going to have to feel your way with this, okay guys? You want to roll this as big as the wax paper will allow. No, I've never made this before, so I don't know if it's going to really be flaky. But we'll see. Sometimes I just try recipes on camera with you guys, you know? By the way, do you guys see my apron? I made this one out of the scraps from the aprons that we're making. I don't know how many of these we're ever going to have because it's a lot of and I don't know what I'm doing with these ones. But I'm going to try to continue to learn and then have these ones available. So check my website. Please join us on the live tomorrow at 6.15 Pacific time or California time because that's when I sell the aprons for the cheaper price. It's only 20 bucks donation plus $3 shipping. While at my website it's like almost 22 bucks plus $6 shipping. So you get a better deal and you get to pick the one you want on the spot. You know these aprons are unique because I hand cut each and every one and I just learned to cut two weeks ago and Joe sews each and every one of them. So they're very unique and when you find one that you like, grab it because you may not see it again because the fabric may not be available. Or maybe I just don't want to make that one again, all right? 
So thanks for the support though. And your names are gonna go on my board like right here. See all these people that supported me with the aprons? And any other type of support that they gave? Thank you guys. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. So I'm just making this thin as I can go, all right? It'll fit. Jory says this is too much for this one pie. I'm like, we're gonna make it work. Mm -hmm. Who was right, guys? And this pie dish is deep. It's, I think it's one of these ones from Pioneer Woman. I just love her show. You yeah, it fit, Jory? Oh, it smells good. The oven's already at 290. The oven's working superbly since Joe fixed it. And for this, you can do this. The pie shell is not finicky at all. Just set it on top. And we're gonna flute. I learned that back in Belize when I went to Catherine's. This already has a natural flute to it, so that could help you. Just gonna like merge it together. Oh, you know what? I could have put some egg wash there, but it's okay. We'll put some egg wash on the top. Joy is getting you some dynamic angles. <laughs> this is another thing that she did with the egg wash. She didn't use the white, okay? She separated the white out from the yellow. And then just going ahead and put it on the edges and all of the pie and I checked my notes and I had to make a correction with the oven it needs to be up to 400 not 350 so I just fixed that just now and it's trying to come up to 400 this is gonna bake for 25 minutes but we're gonna have to put some breathing holes in it okay because then this top part just gonna go want some of the steam escape. You also want to bake this on like a lined baking sheet or just a baking sheet even if it's not lined with foil because if anything spills you don't want to do a lot of cleanup. The most important thing to me in the kitchen is not just making the food, it's also finding ways to not have to do a lot of cleanup because um, that will make you guys want to cook more. You know, you don't have to do a lot of cleanup. So I think that looks good. About a dozen holes. You don't have to count. Use a sharp knife, not a fork, okay? I think that's more than a dozen. Okay. Like 25. <laughs> hey, I love stabbing things. So let me get my tray. Here we go. Timer. 25 minutes. I just let it cool for like five minutes, guys. Let's cut into it. Well, so far the crust feels good. But is it gonna be flaky? You don't think you got any bottom with <laughs> that, no? <laughs> it's okay, guys. The bottom looks pretty good, too, for um, I'll tell you guys if we have to cook the bottom first next time. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna go take my um, my picture. When I come back, we're gonna be tasting. And I'll give you my observations, okay? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because that's how you know when I upload a new video and I upload videos every Monday, okay? Sometimes during the week, I'll upload another random video. Let's take a look at this though. So this right here is the bottom 
If you want your bottom crunchier than this, then kind of blind bake it first, but I don't think it's necessary. It's not soggy or anything. Let's see if it's um if the top is crispier. Mm -hmm. It's flaky. Take a look, Joe. Joe's running camera now. Joy left me. Of course, it's not as flaky as the stuff made with butter. But you guys, if you want a healthier option to this dish, I would try this. And you can use the peas and carrots from the can. If you noticed, I had to put maybe three tablespoons extra milk. So it's a third cup of milk, a third cup of the oil, but put three tablespoons extra milk to make the dough. And yeah, that's it. I'll give you quite a bit. This is my breakfast. I didn't have any breakfast today, so this is my breakfast. Don't judge me. <laughs> See you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out Bear Pantry Talk for product reviews or Babs Bear Talk for daily vlogs. Also follow me on social media. All links are listed below.